Welcome back to the Noble Archives. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Mega Halo Ghost of Requiem. Given set code HHC36 with 135 pieces, this set is recommended for ages 8 and up. Taking a quick look at the front of the box, we've got a nice little diagram of our four characters and the ghost. It is part of the Halo Universe line of sets. On the right, we got the Halo Infinite Chief. On the back, another diagram of everything included. And on the right, we get this really cool... I'm sorry, on the left, we get this really nice little artwork of the set. Starting off with our first figure here, we have a standard looking Halo 4 Marine, donning some gray and silver armor. He does come equipped with a battle rifle, standard gray backpack, silver arm and leg armor with a silver helmet, which these Halo 4 Marine helmets are actually removable, like the Halo Infinite ones. Which I think is really cool. I didn't think they were because of that little front piece, which does make them a little harder to put on and off, but still a very cool detail, and I think it looks very good. Moving on to our second figure, and my personal favorite of the two Marines. I just really like the cream color, and I've always preferred this style body armor over the other one. Uh, same color backpack, though. No leg armor, but he does come with this little satchel on the right side. He also comes equipped with a rocket launcher, and once again, a removable helmet. Both figures don't have any hair or facial hair printing, just some pretty basic heads. Moving on to the Covenant figures included in the set, starting off we have this metallic orange storm grunt, which I think looks really good in this color. A little bit of silver at the top of his methane tank. A little bit of silver at the top of his methane tank slash harness, whatever you want to call it. Uh, no printing or anything, but that's okay because it is a cheap set and it's a pretty simple figure and I think it looks just fine without any printing. But yeah, no printing underneath, and he comes equipped with a standard plasma pistol. Last but not least, we have our only named character in this set. This is Gek Lar from Halo 4 Spartan Ops. There was nothing that really made him stand out amongst other Storm Elites other than he didn't choose to wear a helmet. It's still a really cool addition, and I kind of doubt we'll ever see this guy again because he does get absolutely bodied by Fireteam Majestic in Halo 4. He does come equipped with that newer style, sharper edged energy sword. My favorite part about this is they do give you a helmet to put on him. Once you put the helmet on him, it's no longer Get Klar and you just have a regular old Storm Elite. Very cool, because you don't need multiple name characters, so if you're army building this set, you can just have a bunch of normal Storm Elites. They do have some yellow detailing on the front, which is accurate to what we see in Halo 4, but other than that, not a whole lot of printing or nothing going on, but still a very nice looking figure. The Ghost itself, I think, has a very good build. I really do like that little texturing they got on the side wing fins thing and the center of it. it does come with these dynamic posability little electricity pieces. They're all the same if you're running, uh, so the same mold for everything. And we'll get more into that in a little bit. But overall, I think this is a very nice build. Definitely could have done a little bit more with the front turret, with the front guns. But I'm just nitpicking at that point. Definitely the piece that does the heavy lifting for this build is this center one right here. Uh, these silver pieces aren't part of it, I just don't want to take it off, but as you can see we got that nice texturing on the front again. A little ridge with silver detailing on the inside of it. Some printing on the side, which is on both sides, and this nice printed control panel. As you can see, there's a little spot you can put any of your figures, and yes, any of them do fit, whether it be Geklar, the Marines, and you can manage to get a grunt sitting in this. It does look a little awkward, and you have to do some angling, but you can get them in there. Nice little detail on the side right there. As far as the dynamic posability goes, I think it is a very nice addition. My only complaint is I think it causes it to sit just a little high if we compare it to our Elite here. I think it's it ends up being like taller than him which I think is a little higher than they usually float in game but that's just a minor complaint for what gives you a lot more displayability and posability and mocks and whatnot because you can just kind of angle these fins just a little bit and now you have it banking to the left so it does give you a lot more options for posing this ghost which is a huge plus overall I think for what you're paying this is a very very good set Great for armor building since you can put that helmet on him and just have a regular Storm Elite. So you get two Halo 4 Marines, a Storm Grunt, and an Elite. For right now, roughly like $13 on Amazon, but I have seen it go as low as like 7 So this is a very good army building set, and of course you get a very nice Ghost. 
And I can't really think of any reasons not to pick this up, unless for some reason you just really don't like the Halo 4 art style. Well, that brings me to the end of my review of the Ghost of Requiem. Let me know what you think of this set in the comment section down below. If you enjoy, leave a like, and if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.